And so the scripture for today is from the first epistle to the Romans, chapter 1, verse 15, as well as the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 21, verse 13. And it is St. Paul speaking, and he says, I am ready. And the meditation is the following. Ready to serve, ready to suffer, ready to die. This is what St. Paul was preparing for. May God grant us the same readiness for everything that he wills for us. Paul's pronouncement was total and irrevocable. There was no hesitation in him. He did not ask people for advice, did not seek approval, did not bargain with his conscience, did not hesitate on the threshold of duty. This vision of lifelong struggle stretched out before him and firmly accepting it, he says, I am ready. To enter into the very midst of the pagan world for personal direct battle with paganism was not easy. But not hesitating for a minute before this great undertaking, St. Paul says, I am ready to preach the gospel also to you who are in Rome, as it says also in his first epistle to the Romans, chapter 1, verse 15. And he was equally ready to endure everything in order to fulfill God's will. At that time, Jerusalem was a place where the holy followers of Christ were put to death, and imminent danger awaited them there. But Paul was ready to die in Jerusalem, as it says in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 21, verse 13. And when he finally came face to face with death, he was ready to sacrifice himself. He was ready to lay down his life for his convictions. The most important trait in St. Paul's character was precisely this readiness to inexorably fulfill any duty be it suffering or even death. May the Lord grant that everyone be as ready. Permit me, Lord, to also joyfully go where you tell me and to tirelessly fulfill your will, never weakening in resolve. May I also be obedient to you, even if I must temporarily tear myself away from my hectic activity and suffer the confines of inaction. And when the hour of death comes, let me be ready to leave everything that is precious to me in your hands and striving with all my heart towards you to entrust my soul to your love.